Check it out. Body work is finally done. We've been block sanding this thing for like a month. Time for some paint. You guys know I love these turbo cans. It shoots like a two foot spray pattern. Look at that. All right, let's get started. Wow, that really goes on there thick. This was such a mistake. Like, just, I'm pissed. I cannot believe it happened. It's gonna take forever to fix it. I am not happy. <laughs> What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. We're back on the Monte Carlo from the movie training day. In this video, we paint it and mistakes were made. <laughs> Let's get to the footage. Before we get started here on the Monte Carlo, I have an announcement to make. I am going to be doing a giveaway on my Rat Rod Porsche here on Friday. I'm going to have a video coming out on Friday at 11 a.m. It's going to kind of be a reintroduction of this build to everybody. It hasn't been on YouTube at all in the last almost a year or two. So I'm going to kind of go through, get it cleaned up, get it running and driving, and just show everybody what it is. And then that giveaway is going to go live at the same time the video is posted. If you've never done one of my giveaways before, they sell out pretty quick, usually 24 to 48 hours. If you have any questions about my giveaways leave a comment below there are thousands of people that have been in them at this point if i can't answer the question for you other people will and uh yeah stay tuned friday at 11 a.m we're gonna get this thing fired up and the giveaway will go live but for now let's try and paint this monte carlo it does not go great <laughs> we are back on the training day monte carlo i really want to get this thing done for this summer this is gonna be my summer cruiser and i'm gonna be yelling lines from the movie constantly while i'm driving this thing king kong ain't got shit on me and then every single time you gotta hit the airbags you gotta say going up and every time you get in it you gotta say this is the office and that's gonna be the whole summer it's gonna get real old real quick but i'm still gonna do it if you've been watching this series at all you know the motor is all done basically looks perfect the interior is basically all done it looks real great as well we also have all our chassis work and airbags done but this is supposed to be a jet black car and obviously it's not black right now so we're gonna get on the bodywork we're gonna hit it hard we've actually been doing a lot of block sanding we've just been doing it kind of in the mornings here or there while i've been cutting up the blazer i have some of that footage here but really it's just bodywork stuff i'm gonna go ahead and get this all started i have some black sealer that i want to put down by the end of this video the black sealer will basically lay out just like the gloss black will so you can get a really good idea on how it's going to look and then we can see if we have any wiggle spots but before we do any of that we got to do a lot of sanding we got stuff squared away where it looks good but this bondo all needs sanded it needs blocked it'll get primed again before we seal it it's basically i'm rambling because i don't want to start sanding but let's get it done i'm ready to cruise this baby i found a couple trim holes had to weld up really glad i found them now because it would have been a real pain in the ass to have giant holes in my doors. Got them welded up, I need to grind them down. Uh, we basically got the Bondo done on the roof. I got the body work pretty damn close. Sanding all day. I hate body work because it takes forever, but the roof was damn near as bad as this quarter panel and it just had a lot more spots to it. Not only because I cut a giant hole in it for the sunroof, but something had landed on the roof at some point. It caved it in so bad, it sunk in the pillars on each side. So we had to get in there with a porter power and actually jack the roof up. And we had to do that before I even cut the living hell out of it. So great news, I got the roof really squared away. I'm gonna start on this corner now. Uh, this is basically just my last skim coat. I should be able to block down this roof, have it done in 30 minutes, which is nice. But we're gonna start on this now and it's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> All right, we're back on it. I think this is day three. Dad came in and did a bunch of block sanding, I think the last two mornings, but naturally he does not know how to use a goddamn camera. So that's fine. But the good news is it is really getting squared away. I need to finish up the quarter panel over on the driver's side. And I forgot to put fiberglass in these holes I welded up the other day. So I need to get started on that too. But um, we should be putting primer down, blocking the primer, and hopefully getting it in some sealer maybe in the next day or two. It's really coming along. It's looking pretty nice. So uh, yeah, let's shut up and start sanding. <laughs> let's cake some fiberglass in there. Okay. So, these bumpers are real flimsy, and really if you had a crack, you really want to do it on the car. 
That way it's not moving around on you. But this one's underneath the bottom. And I didn't think it'd be easy to do. So I went ahead and did that now. I got one more up here. But I'm going to mount it to do that. I also don't know if I filmed this. But I did the same thing here. I had a crack right here in front. Just grind out the old fiberglass, add new fiberglass. But I'm back on this damn quarter panel. This quarter panel's kicking my ass. <laughs> Okay, I got everything really close. Basically just have little pinholes now. The only problem is I still need to finalize the roof. This is a really thin coat. It's basically done. The problem is I keep running in to my sunroof and I'm just kind of ruining this rubber edge in a couple spots. So I think I'm gonna get in there and actually just take that out. It'll be a lot easier. The only problem is I'm worried I'm gonna get dust all inside the car, which I don't wanna do very badly. So I'm gonna try and figure out a way to seal it up from the bottom i don't know <laughs> we're gonna experiment with some shit but i really don't want to mess up this edge anymore because i'm gonna have to obviously go back and fix this now so yeah let's try it my body line has been smoked so we had to just beat all that out i'm trying to get it square it has a weird curve and then it stops has a peak and then goes down and a block can't get in there my dollies can't get in there but five eighths inch socket <laughs> with some 120 grit raft on it is just perfect keeping that body line real fresh i actually got it too sharp i need to dull it a bit <laughs> Perfect. Oh, we're almost ready for another primer. She's getting really close. All right, it's time for prime. This should be our last prime before we do black. And I went to mix this up, only needed to go about there, and then went a little too much. And I was like, oh shit, that's okay. I'll just add a little more hardener. And then I added too much hardener. And I was like, oh, I'll just add a little more primer. And that's how you end up with a giant cup full for I needed maybe 30% of that, probably less, probably a quarter of that. So, I don't know, we might just shoot the whole goddamn car again, which basically I was going to anyway, but we're gonna lay it on now. <laughs> yeah, boy. So much dust in that freaking roof. <laughs> Not too bad though, we'll let her dry. Check it out, body work is finally done. We've been block sanding this thing for like a month. It's time for some paint. You guys know I love these turbo cans. It shoots like a two foot spray pattern. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's get started. Wow, that really goes on there thick. Okay, let's take a minute to talk about how much of an idiot I am. <laughs> I wanted to do a turbo can video for it. Those videos always do really well. Half the people hate them, half the people love them. For some reason, they almost always do well. Do I've had several of them go viral where they have like 10 million views. So I wanted to do a couple passes with a turbo can. Thought it would be funny, no big deal. Like one, two, three over here, and then one, two on the trunk. 
Maybe took 15 seconds. No big deal. I laugh. I leave. I come back 24 hours later, and it's still tacky. None of that dried. So I instantly went, holy shit, what happened? I apparently did not shake the can good enough. And I was never going to paint this car with a turbo can. Those were just supposed to be like guide coat, you know, sprays. So instantly I went into oh shit mode. I've spent the last hour cleaning it off with rags and paint thinner and brake cleaner and all kinds of shit you don't want to be putting on primer. But I got most of it off. Also, found out other bad news. I came back here and I cannot find any of my fasteners, any of my hardware, all the stuff I need for my taillights and also my quarter panel extensions. The reason that is very important is because the quarter panel extensions, <laughs> the reason that is important is because the quarter panel extensions match this body line. And since this quarter panel got hit so hard, this body line, we basically had to remake it in metal and then now we're sanding it with Bondo. So this could be off a half inch either way. We really need to know where it is by this quarter panel extension. If I don't have that, if I can't bolt that up, there's no point of doing anything else. Same thing with the taillights. The taillights come all the way out to here so i need to see where we're at right there and i uh, just don't have any of that so i got a bunch of stuff ordered also i'm really not in love with this bumper i can't find a rear bumper anywhere this one's in horrible shape i do not want that to be my finished bumper if that makes any sense but i'm gonna rock with it for now until we can find a better one so with all these setbacks uh it's very annoying it's okay though i just i don't see us painting it in the next whatever week while i'm waiting on parts so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna block it all down with 220 and we would normally prime it again to block it again with 400. What I'm going to do, instead of block, instead of just priming it in gray, I have some nice black sealer, which will seal it up. And it'll also kind of give us like a gloss black, satin black look, which I really want to see what it looks like because I haven't seen it. It was blue, a couple different colors. It was rusty. It's been primer. It's been white sealer. And uh, it'd just be kind of nice to see it in black. Certainly don't need to do a black sealer right now. I just kind of want to do it for myself so we can see how it's going to look while we're waiting on parts. But I am rambling and I need to get sanding. And even though I've got most of that off, I have a feeling it's going to clog up some paper. So let's get to sanding with 220 and then we'll mix up some black sealer. Okay. Got all the 220 sanded down. The only thing I'm running into is I really hate these bumpers. They have like a real bad texture to them. And that high build primer I used, I mean, it will fill giant imperfections. Like it will fill 80 scratch, 80 grit scratches, 40 grit scratches, fills it right up. And it just isn't doing anything for all this. So I don't know what to do about that. I've looked at some pictures online. They just look like they kind of have a texture to them. I just really don't like that. But that means that I'm not in love with either one of my bumpers, <laughs> but we'll be all right. Um, I got the black sealer out and it just straight up looks like paint. That is a real thick sealer. I, uh, wasn't the one I was expecting, but it wasn't that. So it's a new brand. I haven't tried this yet. It's a new place here in town. But uh, yeah, let's mix it up and see what the hell happens. I'm really anxious to see what this thing looks like in black. Also, I realized I just called this a uh, new place in town. I think this place has been open for 15 years. I just haven't used it. Our local PPG closed. So trying to get creative with some shit. That should have been... Damn it, I overfilled it again. Son of a bitch. Keep coming. Keep coming. Ooh. That looks like single stage black. I feel like it's too thick. Is it too thick? Maybe it's not too thick. Add a little more hardener just in case. Let's spray some shit. This gun is spraying like complete dog shit. I've been fighting it for 30 minutes. Here's a great thing about these $20 Harper Freight guns. You fucking throw it away and get a different one. We're gonna go with the good gun, see how it does. Okay, so I get the Monte Carlo sealed last night. I start having several issues right off the bat. One, the gun I'm using is just spraying like shit. I can't get it to do a good pattern. It's shooting chunks of stuff out. I thought it was a brand new gun. It's one of those $20 Harbor Freight guns. I actually love them. 
I've, I, we use them all the time around here because if they start acting up, you just chuck it and get a new one. I thought that was a new one because it had a newer cup on it. Apparently it was an old one and it just didn't get cleaned out right. And I fought it. It was just shooting all, I couldn't get the air pressure right. At first it was too little, then it was too much. Had all kinds of issues, ran a couple really big runs on the front end. So I said, screw it, threw it away. Got my real nice Black Widow out. It sprayed perfect. Everything was good to go. Got it all sealed up. Looked great. Front end had a couple, you know, shitty spots from the paint gun, but no big deal. I'm happy. Everything is good. I come over here almost two hours after the paint job was over last night because I was going to start untaping it. And I come over here to start untaping the windshield and it's still tacky. And I don't mean like, oh, it's, it's almost dry, but just tacky. No, no. It could leave fingerprints. Anybody that knows anything about paint or primer or sealer, your primer and your sealer usually dries in like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. It's usually tacky within 10 minutes. So two hours in, I was like, this is not good. Uh, it's been 24 hours since then. It is dry now. It has runs all over the place. Obviously, if it's, you know, your sealer takes four hours to dry, it's going to have runs on it. We got some in spots where... Yeah, I didn't even have enough paint on it. It's actually a little dry in some spots because I wasn't trying to cake it on. Uh, yeah, either way, whatever. It's just a sealer. It's going to get sanded off anyway. But, I mean, I was so pissed last night. I was mad at the gun. I threw the gun on the ground, like, while I'm painting. I think I have, I think I have video of it. And then last night, I was going to start recording whenever it was still tacky. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to cuss too much. So we're just going to put a pin in that. What I do want to do, we're going to do some footage from very far away. What I do want to do is get it all untaped. I have a lot of dust and shit inside some of those taped lines that need to get out anyway. I'm going to go ahead, roll it outside, blow the shop out real good, and we'll see how it looks. And uh, I also have something really cool to tell you after we do all that. So let's do that first. All right, got it outside. We got some really bad spots I missed, naturally. <laughs> the runs, oof. Anyway, some of this tape on this trim has been on here so long that it's not coming off. So I am gonna power wash it right now. It's not gonna hurt anything with the sealer. Also, my rims are filthy, which kind of bugs me, so. Well, if you squint, it's mint. <laughs> All right, let's wash real quick. Probably gonna go ahead and wash out the shop too, because it's disgusting and Bondo ridden. New project just got dropped off. I really don't need to wash it. There's not much to wash, but I already got the power washer out, so let's wash some shit. Uh, that thing's cool as shit. <laughs> got it all cleaned up. <laughs> oh, it does look good black. Man, that body work is rough. That's all right. We knew it was rough. Didn't realize it was that rough, but if you squint, it's mint. Oh, it looks good. I need to lay it down. I don't know why I'm even showing it off, air it up. We got to lay it out real quick. Man. I really like this car. We're building a ton of cool shit right now, but uh, <laughs> this might be the one I'm gonna be cruising the most this summer. Oof, damn, that looks cool. <laughs> There's a big old dent in the middle of the door. Son of a bitch. She definitely needs a lot more block sanding, but that's all right. Still very happy with the 30 hours I put in this week. Damn, that's a cool looking car. Need to get my taillight pieces in, hopefully find a better rear bumper. It's not the end of the world, but uh, whenever those come in, we're gonna block sand our asses off. And my phone's ringing, son of a bitch. Phone was ringing. Dad's already asking about the Model A. <laughs> we kind of bought it together. We kind of didn't buy it together, but he really wants it. So we're gonna be having some fun with that one coming up. God damn, that's a good looking car. Oh, the exciting thing I was talking about earlier, let me fill you in. The exciting news is I am getting a portable paint booth. I had a company reach out to me. They saw the Monte Carlo videos and they said, are you gonna be painting that pretty soon? I said, yeah, here real soon. They said, we will send it to you. Just use it and tell us what you think. I'm not gonna give the name of the company just yet because I haven't got it. I'm supposed to get it sometime next week, but it's a giant paint booth. It's 20 by 14 by 10, I think. Plenty big. Now here's the funny thing. They were gonna send that right off the bat. I said, that's cool, I need to talk to my dad because he's the painter. He loves painting in this garage. He's painted in this garage for 40 years. I said, what do you think, you know, should we? He goes, that's awesome, let's do it. So we're gonna be getting it. I said, where the hell should we put it? We're gonna set it up right there in the driveway. I think it'll be kind of fun to see how it works out. It has filters in it. It has all kinds of stuff. So it kind of creates like a little downdraft. I'm excited to see it, but we're supposed to be getting that next week. 
we are going to set it up. We obviously still have a lot of body work to do, uh, more than I thought I needed to do, but we're going to get that ready and we're going to paint it inside that portable paint booth. We'll let you guys know what we think about it, whether it's worth it or not, and kind of go from there. But it's very exciting. We'll definitely give it a shot and see what we think. So stay tuned for all that that's coming up. Also, we're going to have some Model A content coming up. I just said earlier, the Porsche giveaway is going to be live this Friday. I think I'm going to be doing a full dedicated video on the Porsche because I haven't done one for a while on it. So I'll be able to kind of check it out, see what it is, get it running, put it around, you know, the block a couple times. So stay tuned for all that. If you are not subscribed, please hit that button now. If you are subscribed, but you don't have your post notifications turned on, please click that bell. You will get notified every time I post a video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff they tell you in the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Also, if you want a really badass looking hat or any other Casey's Customs merch, go to caseyscustoms.com. Love you. Peace.